Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, where today we are going to be fighting a monster against whom one of our negative resistances doesn't matter. Because I'm thinking it's a Latrion time. And sure, we're very weak to some of the things he can do, Dragon and Thunder namely, but he can't do water. And we aren't weak to fire. So clearly this will go well. All right, let's go ahead and get ourselves, eh, I guess, with some Thunder Res is fine. Ooh, and Defender High and Defender Low. Shame they can't both activate simultaneously. Like only one is of any value in this situation. And I'm going to go ahead and take this item set, but we're going to modify it a little bit because we don't need Adamant Seeds, we don't need Sonic Bombs. And I'm honestly probably not going to use the large plus barrel bombs. And in their place, we're grabbing more combo books and we're grabbing some bomb casings because we are going to make it so that we can make some more flash bombs guaranteed. Because flashes can be useful against Alatrion if he decides to let them be. So actually, I don't think we need book five. Yeah, it's just four books for flashes. So, what else can we bring? We can bring Mega Demon Drugs. That ought to do it. Yeah. All right, off we go to play with Alatrion. And let's actually drink a cool drink before we go into the box and we'll drink this Mega Demon drug because it doesn't matter when we drink it as long as we drink it. And then we'll grab this stuff and this stuff and these and this and maybe I should have brought Null Berries, but honestly it's not a huge deal. Dragon Blight's the only one that really needs a Null Berrying. And it means nothing to us. Well, that was a whiff. Ow. Alright, that's half my health gone from a non-enraged fireball. That gives us an idea of what we can expect for the rest of the quest. I mean, he's not exactly a low damage monster. It's part of the point, really. Because the thing about Alatrion is back in Monster Hunter Try, he was the final boss. Whoops. Didn't mean to throw that. I was like, oh, I could use some health. I'll just press this Y button right here. Kind of forgot to actually swap to the healing supplies. Need to get more hits in. We are not really doing the whole damage thing. And we need to be. I need to stop putting myself where those can hit me. Ooh, he's going into his air phase. Before enraging even once. Which means... Flashes galore. Oh, he'll probably be pissed off after this. Yep, just a little bit. Gotta work 
on getting myself into Valor mode. There we go. Now that we're in Valor, we can make it actually worthwhile to try jumping on him. Ow. Dang it. You just had to do a back hop, didn't you? I think it'd be kind of cool if you could run up these little ice shards and use them as a jumping platform. I don't believe you can, but it would be neat if you could. They're the right shape for it. Yo, Latrion, you want to stop just being in the middle of there? Yeah, get to where I can actually do some jumpy jumps. He doesn't have to be an air phase for jumps to work. We just need him to be close and dang it. Problem with his little fire breath is it explodes so large. You really need to be in the right place to not be affected by it. Maybe one more jump. Okay, we've uh, flinched him out of actually using his fireball. That was at least something. Of course, now we're out of valor mode and still no mount. So let's take advantage of our spirit being unhinged to at least get ourselves back to valor mode. was kind of hoping he wouldn't be one hit away from the mount, but I guess we can take it. We can try and get ourselves back into Valor mode using his face, though our unhinged spirit is running out now, and that, that's just all kinds of not good. This is, like, the only thing preventing this from being the least ideal situation is that we at least have purple sharp. So, got one thing going for us. And up he goes. My fist says he isn't enraged, and so does the stuff around him. So, once this is done following me, give him some of that. Dang it. I turned too far. Sure is nice, he's so predictable with when he's going to put his face down. And he's doing it yet again. Let's not get hit by that. Still raging. Wow, way to raise the platform by slapping outside it. That wasn't positioned right for that. All right, back to ground phase. Way to lower the platform, like, immediately after having raised it.
Ow. Sure is nice when your heal cats actually do the whole healing thing. And there goes our Valor. Sharpening up. It's also nice when his fireball just goes away because he spat it on the side of the thing. And it can only explode when it impacts the ground, not a wall. Uh oh. Okay, good. I still find it interesting that until Teo had his roar redone in World, Teo and Alatrion had the same roar. Yep, that's a Teo roar. Of course, I fought Alatrion before I ever fought Teo, so to me... It was the other way around, and he's engaged, so I can't actually flash him right now. What a jerk move. Ow. That slap attack sure does lower the platform really easily. Can you maybe leave me alone for a bit? I I need a cool drink and also to not die. Kind of interesting the slaps have tremors. Ooh, someone has left rage. Which means someone's about to get dropped. Goodness, that back hop doesn't come with a fireball when he's raging. Or er, when he's uh, in air mode, rather. I'll just hold this. Dang it. Didn't give me time to actually smack him. And that's him being mad for having been smacked in the face. I would love to get another mount, like, right now. The fact that he's raging only helps it, because Challenger... this. No sense leaving it inactive. Oh, of course. You're gonna stop short instead of actually coming through so I can parry your charge. What a jerk. Ooh, he's not raging.
And there goes horn number two. Don't gotta worry about those anymore. Still got the claws to worry about and also the tail. So that was a claw flinch just there, which means we're probably getting close-ish to those. And we lost Valor mode when I wasn't looking. I think it's time for this. All right, got our spirit maxed, so we got the flashy and the higher damage output, which is nice. Way to put that fireball right in the camera. Pretty sure that move was added in gen. I don't recall ever seeing it before. Generations. Could be wrong though. It's still awkward the fact that when he does that little dash attack, it's always either he does a full turn or he doesn't turn at all. There is no in-between. Certainly makes it easier to dodge, though. If I get hit again before the cats come back, it'll be life powder time. Ow. So I suppose that means now. There, got one cat back. Who chose a very bad time to use a health horn. Ow. Might as well help the cats again. Got the other one back. He's not raging, so he gets some of this. Oh. You can blind him during this move, but it doesn't knock him down. And that was just a wasted flash. In fact, it was more than just a waste. It was actually negative because it causes him to attack randomly. Got a claw, though. Then I think that was the other claw that we just got. Yeah, it wasn't a wing. So that's unfortunate. We wasted one of our claw breaks. was really hoping to hit the tail there. Would have been great if I just clipped it and managed to sever it with that. But I don't think it's anywhere near getting severed yet. I need to actually score some hits. It's great that I'm doing jumps and all, but mount hits don't count if they're not hits. You taunting me, buddy? And there goes my Valor, making me sad yet again. I should have used a ration before an energy drink, but whatever, it's too late now. And 
Let's get our mega potions back at the ready and buddy, get off the lava. I know I can still hit your tail there, but I don't want to because if I severed it right there, then it would have landed on the lava because the tail lands at the monster's center of mass, whether that's somewhere you can get to to carve or not. flashes real quick because it's time for another once he's done slapping oh he's done slapping ooh that was close we very nearly got hit there Valor dodging is nice. It's a very useful mechanic. And the fact that it still has you take some of the damage as red health keeps it from being super overpowered. Like, it's really good in a pinch. And that's just what it needs to be. It's time for his blizzard attack. So, is it going to be after me or the cat top? Well, it's after me. Shame I ran directly into one of the icicles. Ooh, someone's not raging right now. Would have been nice if I hit with more of those, but oh well. Buddy, lower your tail if you would. Considering it's the only break I have left that I can really reliably get. And there it is. Okay. Because, sure, while the wings can still break, I am very unlikely to get a wing break. Like, it would probably take another two mounts or so to even consider getting one. Shame the face isn't a mount zone. Ow. Cat, you really need to stop doing that directly in front of him when he's starting up a charge towards you. It has never worked out. It's never going to work out. Roar all you want, buddy. Like, seriously, if you wanted to just do nothing but roar for the rest of the quest, I'd be cool with it. Let it all out. I don't mind. Someone's not raging. 
Yeah, let's go for the wings. Why not? Ow. I really need to make not getting hit by lightning like my number one priority. Considering it is what I'm absolutely weakest to. By far. Thanks for the herb horn, cat. Wow, I actually managed to nail him and got a flinch out of it. That was unexpected. Hey, buddy, you want to maybe come below a ledge? No? Because, like, I can't get any rides on you if you don't. There you go. There you go. So, we'll probably be able to use Unhinged Spirit after one or two normal hits. Ooh, our stamina is looking a little iffy there, but we managed. And then we can... I guess, rely on spirit attacks for the rest of the knockdown. He did not enjoy being ridden there. Okay. Bit of a waste of time using unhinged spirit while he's down, but we still managed to get through our combo. And that's all we could really ask for. Shame we had to lose sharpness partway through, but it is what it is. Ow. At least he waited. Oh. And there it is. The full turn. So you want to get off the lava? Not very far, huh? Buddy, can you use attacks other than your dash, please? No? I'm not going to be trying for any further mounts at this point, because we are just so unlikely to get one without significant effort. So I'm just going to act like mounts don't exist. All our future knockdowns will come from flashes. And that's just going to be how it's going to be. Get a couple hits to stop our spirit from going down for a while. And of course, he hops back into the lava and then again. And then dashes at me when I think it's safe. But hey, it actually was safe. Yes, please. Taunt. I do not mind this course of action. Don't mind that one either. Though, again, if you could maybe get off the lava. And then stay off the lava instead of running right to some other lava. There you go. That's where you need to be. Might as well still do some jump attacks, because he was right below the ledge, and it's better than just getting here without attacking him. We do still got to do damage in order to kill him, so... It's not like I'm going to just completely abstain from jump attacks just because I don't expect to get a mount. Plus, there is the off chance that we could get a non-mount knockdown. I don't know that that actually works on him, but it does work on other monsters. And It'd be nice if it worked on him. It'd also be nice if, like, right now he went into air mode. Or else just started flying for no reason. I'm sure if I timed it properly, I could flash him during his back hops, but that would probably require tossing the flash before 
he actually hops. And I'm not confident enough for that. Uh, it was a Valor that just ran out. I was like, something just ran out. What was it? Looking at all my meters and only at the end did I look at my Valor. I was thinking, oh, is it a cool drink that ran out? No. Looks like I need more stamina too. Thanks for putting that over there. Buddy, I was off center. There was no way you could hit me with that charge. Yeah, go ahead. Do your tail sweeps. I don't care. I wasn't where they could hit me. It would be nice if this was like portable third and I could knock him over by flinching his legs again, but unfortunately the only knock knockdowns you get from hitting his legs are from breaking the claws, and then only if he's not in the middle of some other recovering from a knockdown type animation, or if he's not flying, or any number of things. He doesn't fall over nearly as easily as he did in portable third. Which is actually pretty good, because Portable 3rd, it was a little bit too easy to knock him down. You done? Ow. Ooh, he left rage. He entered rage. I still highly doubt we'll ever be able to break a wing, but still, it's worth paying attention. Oh, I guess you can knock him down by hitting his feet enough. Shame we were on the wrong side of him and there was kind of an Alatrion in the way keeping us from getting to said Alatrion's wings. All right, now we're okay here. And again. Hey, we got one hit in. Ow. Also, ow. I took a step forward thinking, oh, maybe I can parry this, but then realized I didn't know the correct timing exactly and also I was like ah oh, no I'm not quite close enough but apparently I was close enough oops so let's drink this drink another one of these oh the wings are part of the sub quest shame we're probably not gonna get them All right, I should have sharpened before jumping down, but oh well. We've got time to sharpen now, he doesn't mind. Seems he just doesn't like my cat. He really doesn't like my cat. Cat, don't come close to me when he doesn't like you. Wow, he stopped just short enough to hit only my cat. That was nice of him. But I certainly don't mind getting dire tails from his tail. Because I know I need them for his weapon, or at least I'm pretty sure I do. And also, I mean, that's kind of the only place to get them. I have no idea what that animation he just did is supposed to accomplish. It's just like a particularly long taunt. Unless you happen to be where his horns can kind of brush you just a little bit. Ow. 
Ow. Spirit unhinged. So I guess we'll tickle his feet, because what the heck else can we really do? Other than hope he goes into air mode so we can flash him? Well, now he's enraged, so even if he did go into air mode, we couldn't flash him. made the wrong call there. I was trying to move left, and that's the exact direction he was going. Whoop. Tried to dive, but pressed the button a moment too late there. Well, now we need to not die anymore, and that is... Easier said than done? I mean, I believe I can do it. It's just needing to do it is unpleasant. Can't imagine it'll take too much longer to bring him down, though. Shame we lost our unhinged spirit and our valor mode. considering those are both things I rather like having. Ow. Buddy, can you do fewer charge attacks, please? I much prefer when you do stuff that keeps you in place, even if it's slapping me or using your fireball on me. Thankfully, Valor dodging is a thing. Ooh, air mode. And out of rage. Yeah, still nothing. And now he's angry. Ow. with all of that. Okay, apparently he just decided to walk over me and not have a hitbox interact with me in any way. Shame he's not going to leave Rage for a little while. But we can still make more flashes. Okay, we are the only target available to him. Our health is nothing. But he's going that way. Because, yeah, I don't know. Ask him. He knows better than I do. So, now all of our remaining healing is basically these and these. I mean, it should last us the rest of the quest. Only way I could see it not is if we end up failing the quest. Like, with this amount of time left, if we end up using a mega potion, or uh, six mega potions and ten regular potions, then that basically just guarantees that it'll be quest failed. Hmm. 
Ooh, that was hefty. Kind of wish I had a gourmet fish. That would be a very high value gourmet fish at this point. There we are. Okay, it's cool that you're flying and all, but please get out of the lava. And also get out of rage while you're cooperating. No, gonna stay in rage for a while longer. That's fine, I'll tickle your toes. I mean, what the heck else am I supposed to do? Hey, look, he left rage. Here, have some of that. Yeah, still probably not gonna manage to break the wings. Even if he took flight again right now, we probably still wouldn't manage. Especially now that he's enraged again. Dang it. We always end up on the wrong side of him. But honestly, I just need to do damage here. We're not going to get the wing break and me running around to the other side would just be a waste of time. For no benefit. Because he would stand up before we could get there. gonna let that pass over me. No, go for the cat, please. Or I, I guess you can just run by me. That's not the worst. No! <laughs> you jerk. Giving me false hope like that, starting your run not at all facing the cat, or facing me rather, but then doing your all of the turn so that it just happens to go into me while I'm healing. What a jerk move. Ow. I really shouldn't try parrying his attacks like that. His hitbox is just, like, his face is really far in front of his legs. So if you're in front of the face, the timing is completely different than if the face misses you. And I'm just a really bad judge of it. So it's just safer for me to assume that it's always going to hit me at some point that I cannot predict. And thus, I should just Valor dodge it, if I can't just regular dodge it. Please leave Rage, if you would be so kind. I should not have walked in for that, because I was too far away to hit it no matter what. But yes, if you would be kind enough to leave Rage, that would be excellent. Hey look, he was kind enough to leave Rage. Though he moved in such a way that that first flash did nothing. Second one worked, though.
Dang it, I did not want to Valor Dodge that. I wanted to do this. Valor Dodging Roars is actually negative for me because I, if I'm right there and can hit the thing, I kind of would rather just hit the thing. Ah, dang it. Tried to get into the Valor Stance, but couldn't do it in time. Oh well. There are worse things than failing an Alatrion quest. And we have only got three monsters left to fight. Unless I want to go through all the Deviants, which I honestly kind of don't. I've already got a playlist with all of them on it anyway, so yeah. Either way, that's going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when I dare say we're going to take on eh, Amatsu. See you then, friends. <laughs>